Hello and welcome. This video is born out of frustration, just like other things in life. What you're looking at is a milliamp meter that I've got off eBay from China. 200 milliamp reading, no shunt required. Uh, I'll get back to that shortly. Let's talk about the frustration part. I don't know if it's just me, but look at that herd of meters. Not one of them, well maybe one, is acceptable for measuring milliamp current of driver and final of CB radios, ham radios. I've just got so frustrated, you know, I, with all these meters, not one of them really works well except this fairly cheapy here. And uh, this is what I've been using and it's been getting me some routes, results, but, you know, I know I can do better. So, out with all that stuff. It has its other uses, but, you know, doing, uh, reading 50 milliamp currents, they're just not cutting it. So, they get pushed off to the side and this guy comes out when I need him, when I need him, when I need him. Uh, but as I said, I can do better. And so at the time of this video, I'm not sure if this is going to be one short one because we don't have a whole lot going on here or going to be a two-parter or all melded into one. So just thought I'd throw that out there now because uh, as you start to gather all these pieces of the video and then stitch them together later on, it's uh, it's easier if you just stick with the other you got at the time. I'm out here in my common picnic table. I usually start my projects and uh, so I've got my 200 milliamp meter. I also have a digital uh, 0 to 3, 5 digit. It's in the mail coming from China. Probably should see that in a couple of weeks. So that's going to be my uh, second. So I'm going to have two meters here. I'm going to have the old analog style. And I'm just going to show you on this one here first off. It's got a couple terminals here. Put them off to the side. And I got this piece of flashing here. And I was wondering how am I going to incorporate this flashing? So what I initially thought was I was just going to do something like that, have it stand off, have the meter up here. But I decided to go with this. I think it's going to be more stable. So I've already marked this off as to where things are going to go. And I think uh, going this route is going to be more stable than the other routine. So the meter is going to go here. And then just below it we'll have my uh, posts. And it, it's just a simple fact of, you know, uh, wiring the two pieces together and away I go. So because it's a sheet metal, uh, drilling won't be hard, uh, cutting out won't be hard, but you know, getting a nice straight line there, I don't have a... Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but I want to make that look good. So that is going to be my first meters I'll put together. I will do the, uh, the digital. I've got a different... Uh, I don't have any of the components right now. But I plan on using a little project box, a couple terminals, a switch, and of course I have to wire in a uh, power source. So it's going to be a little more involved. But in the meantime, I'm sure this is going to be a worthy uh, unit as well too. So let me... Uh, there's really nothing here to show you. Uh, I'll uh, drill the holes and make all the cuts and probably when, we, when I come back you'll see the finished product. So let me get started on that. And uh, I'll show you what I end up with. So there it is. Completed project. Looks pretty good. I'm uh, pleased with how it uh, turned out. You know, nothing complicated. 
but uh, effective. And that's uh, what I was looking for. There's all the high-tech circuitry on the back. I haven't received my components for the digital edition. So, uh, that'll have to be part of a part two. And that means that this is going to be the end of this one. So, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.